So we're still in this COVID lockdown, but the campsites will be opening very soon. But they may not open all their facilities. It's still a little bit un unsure on that. So I covered a video the other week on setting up your camp kitchen. And I just wanted to cover off some, some useful little tips for having your own wash up. So a lot of us, we know we take stuff to the campsites, washing up facilities, wash up there, bring stuff back. But that might not be open to you. However, it's always a good idea to be prepared not to use a wash up anyway. You might be on a large campsite where that's a long way away. Or you could try one of the many other fabulous back to basic campsites that don't have a wash up facility. So we're just going to cover off a few items. Now, it's fairly self explanatory, but I just want to share some of our experience and a few tips with you. Now, the first thing is when you've got no wash up facilities, is hand washing, of course. So We've got a water carrier here. This is a 12 litre collapsed water, water carrier. And a couple of bowls that I mentioned in a previous video. So one of the things that we've tended to do is have two bowls. One would be for hand and face washing, um, doing teeth and things like that, and the others for washing up plates. And you simply fill them up with water and away you go. Obviously, if you want to clean up properly, you need some warm water. So well, that does mean when you're off grid, I mean, we're talking about no electric book up here. We're talking about um, just basic water, water pipe somewhere, water tap somewhere, and you fill up, you bring it back to your tent and you set yourself up there. So the only form of <coughs> heating the water is with a kettle. Um, so that can take a while, but normally in a small bowl of this size, one kettle load with a bit of cold water coming in there, and that's perfectly adequate for people to wash and clean. Well, one of the things that I really recommend if you're doing that is to get something like this, just some liquid. Um, this is like a liquid soap, washing face and things like that. That's a lot less messy than a bar of soap or anything like that. Um, here's our little caddy that we've got. We keep all our wash stuff in. And again, we'll have a We'll have a hand wash right by the water carrier so that all the kids can clean their hands. Now, if you are using products like this in the water, then you want to empty the water in the campsite's grey waste facility um, because they can contaminate the soil. You can get biodegradable, environmentally friendly ones, which are ideal if you're off-grid and you just want to, um, and you're okay at the campsite just to, to pour it in a hedgerow, but otherwise, use the grey waste facilities. So that's that's basic washing and, and hygiene. And of course, the main thing is the washing up. Now, we've covered before these collapsible bowls. So these collapsible bowls were collapsed down flat like these. And this is a collapsible bowl from Outwell. It's tend to what we take these days rather than plastic ones because these are quite hard. Take a little space in the car, whereas these don't. The other one we've got is this wash base, which has been ideal for taking stuff to the washing up facilities. Um, it's got big handles and stuff that have got things on. What we, when we're off the um, washing up place, we still pop, say, some dirty bowls in a bowl of here with some water. Or this does have a, a little rack facility inside to dry some plates. But again, simply gonna fill your bowl up, get some water, add some washing up, liquid. and again, if you've got proper environmentally friendly biodegradable, that's great. If not, empty your water down the grey waste. Um, bought one of these little outwell, <laughs> it's a real outwell fanboy, you can see. Put this little outwell. Um, scrubbing washing up thing that has uh, you can put washing up liquid in the top get the thing open get the thing open yeah so you can fill this up with washing up liquid as well save having to take something separate and then i think you can just squeeze this does it dispense, dispense the washing up liquid i can't remember it's a while since i've been doing it but yeah you can pour some washing up liquid and things in there uh, and use anyway there's all sorts of things you get this standard sort of stuff I'm going to tell you how to wash up. <laughs> but in terms of drying, so one of the things that we've done before is, is we've had a um, slatted camping table and that's been a great plate rack for drying things. But I saw another item that Outwell said I could have a review and that's this 
fold in dish rack. Now we've got a fold in dish rack for our caravan. It's plastic rather big and this is a lot smaller. So this would be ideal on a caravan, but of course this sort of thing, if you are going camping and the washing up facilities aren't available, this sort of thing just might make it a little bit more convenient because it folds away, just take a lot of space. Um, the base here is like some sort of spongy cloth fabric and all of this just simply elasticated fits in into here so you could have it on here um, this cloth will obviously absorb a lot of drips if you're on a table like this um, you've got a little utensil holder slots in place there and a dish rack so yeah it's basic sort of stuff but all these little things could help make things a little bit more easier when you're there, maybe getting the kids to help with the drying up. So it's just a few little thoughts and ideas uh, on things. Now, our ultimate off-grid hot water is with uh, a wood-burning camping stove. We've got a um, hot water um, tank that goes on there, sits around the flue, heats up the water and you've got a tap so you can actually have hot running water on tap. But, but otherwise, if you're off grid, you're basically gonna be boiling your water on a kettle. So allow plenty of time. Uh, it's not like home. That's where you're camping, isn't it? So there are a few little tips. Um, I do recommend getting a couple of bowls. It's, it's a lot easier. You could get some cheap plastic bowls like this or some capsule bowls that fall down like this. Um, that makes it a lot easier. Keeping a little caddy we're washing up stuff in makes it easier too. It just keeps that tidy. Foldable item for your dishes and water carry. And then you set up. You can do basic hand washing, face washing, doing teeth and doing the washing up without the facilities. So if you are going camping and you don't have facilities, then hopefully that's helpful. One other little thing if you don't have facilities, um, this of course is the toilets. Now, I can't demonstrate our tent toilet and our tent toilet tent because we sold those. Um, however, I do have a post, so I'll just put a link to that post um, above, down below, or wherever the links are. Um, so you can just have a look about setting up a toilet in your tent which might be required if you're going to a campsite that isn't open and it's a toilet facilities just yet. So there you go. I hope that's helpful and happy camping.